And so going back to the core values, you, you knew without defining what it was that you were aiming for in your business. Are those elements that you just rattled off that were not defined, are, are those still part of your core values? And then what, what additional layering have you built in? So what's interesting is when we started the outsourcing business, we never had to talk about who's going to do what. It was just assumed that I was going to, you know, she was going to build the team, oversee all the people, and I was going to be more focused on the client side and the sales and marketing. Uh, core values, it's really something interesting where we live and breathe them. We have four core values for our outsourcing business. They're the same letters of our company, MCVO. And we talk about them with our employees all the time and with clients. It's all over our website. I was at a business owners group many years ago where one of the CEOs had to pull out a business card and read all the core values because he had no idea what they were. And uh, that's not uncommon, but we're, we're, we're pretty focused on them. It's really just about playing nicely, taking good care of people, communicating, being humble, and helping others. And so I hear quite a bit, and you probably do too, um, or you see it surface, the stress that comes from working with your spouse. I have it. I, uh, we moved out of Illinois to Wisconsin. I'm, I'm on a 400 acre prairie, which is beautiful, but the only person I see every day all the time is working right downstairs. And that for as good as the, the division of labor is, sometimes it's a little much to be in that ingrained in life and business 24 seven with your spouse. So how do you and Cherry handle the, the overlap? Or as my husband says, we've got two silos and, and they shouldn't spill into each other. But I, I think, I know that they do. You can't, it's impossible to keep what happens in business completely separate from your marriage. So how yeah, do you two handle that? We don't. We, we definitely don't have two silos. It's one big silo. There may be a little spot in the silo where Cherry sits and a spot where I sit, but we talk a lot about it. You know, we talk a lot about business, quote, after hours. And it's also somewhat of a 24-7 business. We're not 24-7, 24-5 business because mm -hmm. of the nature mm -hmm. where the Philippines is 14 hours ahead. So there's conversations with our team that happen from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. as well as during our business day. I would say we do a good job of that. We don't do an amazing job. There are times where I'll come out of the shower and I'll look at her and I know her head is spinning about business. I'm like, can we just table that or, or vice versa? And we'll say, okay, enough, enough business. Let's go watch a movie or have dinner and not talk about business. I think it's hard, but you know the way the way I rationalize it is and I've been a business owner for 30 plus years. I do a lot of personal stuff at work and I do business stuff, quote, on personal time. It's part of the freedoms that you have as an owner. Mm -hmm. So if I need, I play in a rock band and once a week I spend about an hour or two updating Google Docs and I just do it during the business day because that's a good time for me. So, so you, you unplug, you both unplug. Um, in different ways, I imagine, um, in order to, to make it work. I, I do hear the stress um, in the voices of, of my husbands and wives who have gone into business together, especially in the early days when they're not profitable yet. Do you have, a, can you go back in time and think about some of those conversations that the two of you had? And how did you, how did you support each other uh, until you got to the point where the business was really sustainable? And I know new challenges pop up then, but back in the early days, what did you two do? You know, the, the first two years, it was mostly her because it's based in the Philippines and the company started where we had six, six or eight, I forget. We had, I think we had eight employees that were supporting our wedding album business. So we moved them over to the outsourcing business. And then as we started growing and recruiting, she really handled all of that. And, and I was really not involved until we started stepping on the gas and bringing in clients. It's, you know, we've started other businesses before. So there's times where I'm struggling with something I just, you know, can't get traction on a certain project and she'll be very supportive and vice versa. So I think part of being a 
husband and wife team. You're also a little bit of a cheerleader, therapist. Uh, I don't know that we've ever had a crossword. I don't know that we ever got really upset with the other. We may have said we have a difference of opinion, but it's pretty much whoever feels more strongly about something, we go with that other person. I never want to upset her. I have the utmost respect for her personally, as well as her business acumen. And there have been times where I thought I was right. And it turns out she was right. So <laughs> that really hasn't been an issue, fortunately. That's nice. I um, I had a situation later in the year last year where, because in my household, I don't set, neither one of us sets the rules. I was going to say setting the rules. But Pete said to me this one day, we were having a disagreement on a business issue. He said, why are you letting this spill into our marriage? Well, because CEO, I'm, <laughs> I'm a board member and I can't just walk away, especially when one of the dynamics is that we employ family. So just by proxy, by proxy, proxy, it automatically spills over because we're, we're dealing with family members who are obstructive or, or not compliant or not running the business the way that, that Pete or I thinks it should be run. So I, good for the two of you to be able to have polite discourse about topics that you don't agree with um, or, or agree with each other on. That's, that's a real goal um, to be polite and respectful within your marriage and still accomplish uh, what needs to be done in business.